All right, welcome to module three. In this module, our expert will show you how to actually build the page itself. So get ready to take some notes and let's jump right in. All right, so here we are, the third and final piece of the puzzle, creating the actual bridge page. Okay, so we're gonna be using Instapage to create this page. Nice and drag and drop simple. We'll go ahead and start with a blank page and create this from scratch. We'll call this bridge. And here we, oops, fuck off. And here we are in the editor. Uh, so what we can do here is, first we'll pick a background color. So let's maybe uh, make this more of the, the darker variety. Black, we'll grab a background image, and let's say maybe uh, here we go. Good old stereotypical training image. It doesn't really matter what the details of the image are um, because we're going to be adding an overlay that will make it barely visible. Really the main point of this is just to make it look like it's not just 100% solid black. You know, it just adds another layer of, you know, interestingness to the, uh, to the page for the visitors. There we go, 91%, that should work just fine. And we can, if we'd like, we can set a parallax effect so it stays stationary as the page scrolls up and down and let's see let's start with a headline and our headline will make that white and if you'll recall uh, what we are ultimately promoting what we are ultimately promoting is a drop shipping directory product. Okay, so let's see if we can craft a uh, a clever headline here. How about something along the lines of what if you instantly had hundreds of the world's drop shipping suppliers at your fingertips? Let's try that. all caps for the headline. Let's go with instantly. There we go. So pretty uh, short, sweet, to the point headline. Let's go ahead and stretch that out a little bit. Bigger and let's increase the text size. Okay, so there's our main headline. And then what we can stick under that is literally just a plus sign, or we could put the word plus in, uh, let's say, bright red to bring their attention to the additional gift that we're going to be adding, right? Plus, and the gift that we were going to be adding was basically a PDF report that uh, details the top 10 drop shipping, the top 10 most profitable drop shipping products uh, based on current trends uh, at this time. So let's say, uh, control C, control V. We'll make this one a little bit smaller. Okay. Let's uh, let's see. How about plus we. So like that there. We're 
cursorily going to hand you the top 10 most profitable products to drop ship right now. Let's make this a little bit smaller. All right, plus we're going to do that right now. Let's put right now in bright red. And let's put a hand you bright red and underline that. Oops, didn't mean to do that. There we go. All right. So what if you instantly had the world's drop ship suppliers at your fingertips? And you know what? Second thought, I hate to go back and forth um, in this lesson here, but, you know, it's a good idea to, to brainstorm different ideas and stuff. This is looking a little bit wordy. Um, I say let's change it up. How about... Uh, would you like to... Access the world's number one drop shipping database? Question mark. There we go. So that I think is a little uh, a little bit more appropriate. And next step is going to be to add a form. Okay. Now let's get rid of this section up here. Um, now, typically these days, what you see more often is people will have a button by itself with no form, and that leads into a light box, a light box or a uh, a pop up. So that's what we'll do here. Uh, let's go ahead and make our button red. And the hover color for when the mouse is over it, make that kind of a darker red. Can't see it here, it only happens uh, in the preview. And let's see here, text is white. Let's go ahead and make the button text. Uh, how about yes, send it to me, exclamation point. Um, actually, let's, we, we want, uh, on their mind, we want them to be, we want them to be focusing on this one here, since, uh, the sending is actually going to be us emailing that to them via their autoresponder auto uh, sequence, um, and we want them to remember that they're going to be getting something from us, right? They'll be redirected to the main offer after this, but we really want to make sure they remember that, uh, they'll be getting something in their inbox from us. So we've got uh, the button there. And let's go ahead and delete this here. And we can expand the page a little bit. OK, now the next step here would be to create that light box that we talked about. And the whole point behind this is uh, basically a, a principle called uh, micro-commitment, right? Uh, you know, the idea is when people show up to a page, if the first thing they see is an email address form, they're going to get spooked, you know? They're not going to like the fact that they have to put in their email address on a page. Um, Whereas if they don't see that when they show up, they're still intrigued and they'll read the headline and, and stick around for a few seconds, right? And then once they click the button, they've already said yes to something. Would you like this report on dropshipping? They're clicking yes, and psychologically that kind of commits them towards this. It, it, it's them convincing themselves that they want this. And they've already gone one step clicking, so they might as well fill out the email form. Uh, sounds goofy, but it really does work that way. It's, it's been proven time and time again in many, many split tests that, uh, that that phenomenon works. It doesn't necessarily mean that it will always work better 
than having a form on the page. You know, you always got to split test things. Things change. People's uh, behavior and psychology changes. Um, but uh, it certainly seems as though the light box approach, the micro commitment approach, usually wins out. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop a form here. And I want to make sure everything looks congruent with the rest of the page. So we'll go ahead and change the color here to red. Just like our other button. Same thing here. And the button text will say send them to me. And we'll make that nice and bold. Email and name. And above that, we'll have a little headline that says uh, before we show you the uh, directory, we'll call it the super directory just to make it sound a little bit more interesting. Because directory is not a very, uh, <laughs> very exciting word. Um, we'll email you. your top 10 drop shipping products okay so that's the text now let's format it a little better uh, let's see color switch that to white there you go edit make that the center Go. Stick that right there. Let's go ahead and put, uh, we'll email you in red because we want them to remember that later. So they're expecting us. And we can, you know, have that healthier, uh, more uh, trusting relationship with our list. So that is that. Uh, the headline here, form here. Yeah, that, uh, that's about it. Now let's come over here to Submission. And this is where we figure out what we want to do after they hit Submit on the form, right? This is very important. What we want to do is we'll come back over here to ClickBank. Come over here to SaleWho Wholesale and Dropship Directory. We're going to click Promote, right? 50% Commission, Generate Hoplinks. Go ahead and copy our hoplink there. Good, good, good. Come back over here, and right over here in the right-hand side, the form submission results in a redirect, not a download, but a redirect to an outside URL, and that's where we paste our affiliate link. Okay, guys? Hit save, and boom. Done and done. So here's our uh, quite cool-looking minimalist, still minimalist, page but a page that makes a very clear big idea big deal out of the fact that we're going to be handing them the top 10 most profitable products to dropship and you could personalize this further right you could stick your uh, you know your your face or a, you know uh, a removed background png image of you somewhere on here or your logo at the top you know that sort of thing so there, there's don't be afraid to incorporate your branding a little bit so that you're fighting you know you're fighting for that real estate in their memory you know, in their mind, um, so that they remember you when uh, you start emailing them. Okay, um, so don't be afraid to do that. You don't have to too much. The the really important thing here is that you make it clear that you are going to be emailing them something, so that they're expecting something from you, and you get that higher quality uh, list. Okay, uh, but that's our uh, bridge page. That's how you set it up. That's how we redirect it, and that's how we uh, give those folks some value while adding them to our list before we monetize them and we make sure that we get to retain and benefit from the traffic that we spent time effort uh, and or money uh, providing and driving all right guys hope that was useful to you guys and i wish you the best of luck